Welcome. So I'm going to talk about how to do permutations with uh, TI-84+. Plus. If you have no idea what permutations are, there's videos about that. I've made one, and so have many other probably much more brilliant minds than mine. So anyway, uh, occasionally you want to do a situation where you have a permutation, which is sort of where you are, are have a number of items. Let's say we have um, six total items to deal with. I'm going to pop the calculator back up here in a minute. And uh, I want to know, if I just wanted to arrange three of those items, how many combinations of those six items can I get when I'm very concerned about three. So maybe if I had six runners, I want to know how many possible outcomes of first, second, and third place I can get, which is to say the sixth runner could be first, second, or third, and then the fifth runner, and so on and so forth. Like, how does that work? So I would say I want to do a permutation of six, three. That's the sort of the notation, even though I feel like I've written the P very small and the uh, six uh, and three sort of too big in comparison. So usually something like this, sort of a subscript on both sides. Now, uh, when I'm dealing with that kind of problem, I would generally use the formula um, n factorial over n minus r, which is how many you're worried about, how many places in the case of the runners. So three there. I'm going to erase this because I put them so close together. Um, factorial. So in this case, I would do 6 factorial divided by n minus r factorial. So one of my options would be to do this. So n would be 6 here, sorry, minus 3 factorial. I realize how ugly that 6 looks now, so I'm going to fix that really quickly. So there's a couple options if you have a TI-84+. Plus. The nice thing is in the, the newest... Uh, software, or some of the newish software. I'm using Wabbit Emu. Don't worry, Texas Instruments. I have a ton of these personally, and then I have a bunch in my classroom as well. I think I own four of them. Uh, anyway, don't ask. I'm super nerdy. So there's a couple ways you can do them. I if you have the formula in front of you and you're more comfortable doing them, you know, directly using the formula, you can just sort of make a fraction out of them if you want. Or you could do parentheses divide. You know, you fiddle with calculators for a while. The math menu is really your sort of uh, gateway to everything. So you can go over and I'll just do the uh, factorial here and I probably needed to click on the 6 first and I did. What else is new? So I could do 6 and you're probably already seeing that you could do this much faster but some people really just like to do it that way for whatever reason. And then you just do parentheses 6 minus 3 or you could just do the fact that it's 3 in your head in 2 seconds and type it in. But you know, to be super safe better to take a few extra seconds and be wrong, uh, especially on statewide exams. So hit enter and you get 120 uh, possible ways to organize six things uh, three at a time. Like a group of three, there's 120 groups of three uh, that you could set up if you have six total options to do it. Now, as you probably saw using the math menu before, you could just type it in directly uh, as a uh, permutation. So the first thing you need to do is put your total number there, so your n value goes here, and then go to the math menu, click over to the PRB menu, which is probability, I forgot to mention that before, go down to where permutations live, and then afterwards you just type in the, your uh, r value, like how many you're concerned about organizing, and then uh, there it is, 120. So that's permutations with the TA84+. So if you have one, there it is.